Good morning, Temple Baptist family. We are so glad you chose to be with us this morning. I am <laughs> Shelly, and this is my favorite Australian, Sorry. Nicole. What's so funny about that? You are my favorite Australian. I know. Okay. Gosh. We have a couple of announcements we'd like to share with you this morning before we get started. And the first one, I can't even believe we're talking about already, but Christmas mm -hmm. Children's Choir. Um, practices will be starting on November 6th, and the actual date of the performance will be December 11th. You can go online to get for more information and to sign up your children. Also on the 6th of November, Temple is celebrating its 85th anniversary. Wow, yeah. 85! Yep. Let's take a look at a video. I'm Ernie Sylvester. I'm Sharon Sylvester. <laughs> and we've been uh, at Temple for quite a few years. I've been at Temple for over 65 years, a little bit over 65, and Sharon's been... I've been here for 61 years. There was... Uh, uh, Temple always had uh, tried to train and give opportunity for younger pastors to, to get a start in ministry. So we would have what we call student pastors. And so the uh, younger pastor would come in and it might have been his first or second time that he would be giving the message. And uh, as Sunday nights was live on CHOK and there was a red light up on, we had beams up in the church and up on the back, but one beam was a red light. That indicated when the service was starting and as soon as the lights came on, we knew everything that was happening in the church was heard by everybody in the community. And, and so for these student pastors, that was a stressful time. We, we usually had uh, three hymns and some special music and maybe a choir number. And then the pastor usually spoke for 30 minutes. 30 minutes doesn't seem too long, uh, but to a a pastor, young pastor starting out, that's quite a bit of time to fill. So I remember on a, several occasions uh, being up front and watching the red light and the student pastor was preaching, but about 10 or 15 minutes almost, 10 minutes short of the seven o'clock hour, or the eight o'clock hour rather when we went off, off, off a live stream, he was running out of material, his sermon his notes were done. He he ran out, and so it was uh, it was it was stressful time. So he just he just had to start at the beginning again. He started his sermon all over again and use up some more notes because there wasn't enough time. And then the senior pastor would step in and try to fill the last few minutes. So people at home probably didn't realize what has happened, but maybe they thought they'd heard that <laughs> heard that line before that verse before, but. Uh, it was it was stressful for those of those that might have been up front. It was it was a great time. Oh, the ways are I can't count them. You know, we were talking just this morning actually about all the different programs that Temple has had over the years, and it just has been amazing the outreach of, of you know to people in the community. Uh, and programs that, that we've had going on in the church that have drawn people into the church, even if it was only for a, a service. I've seen so many right from many, many years back under the ministry of former pastors and leaders in the church that went on to um, become pastors, become missionaries, become leaders in other churches. And they, they experienced ministry here, they got to take part in it, maybe at the beginning at a very insignificant, so-called insignificant level, but then it developed over the years and they went on to serve and uh, two of those were my brothers who served and now retired from ministry after uh, still serving but 50 years of ministry and uh, others that uh, in our youth group that went on, went to seminary, went to Bible school, and someone went overseas and uh, 
And so, and then others who stayed in the church like us and, and, and involved in, in different ways. And uh, it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a joy and it's been, it's been great to work with other, we see other more mature, at our younger age, more mature believers who modeled what, what true service was and what uh, serving Christ was. And, and we just learned uh, and uh, strove to be faithful over the years. When whatever, whatever we did, whether it was up front or behind the scenes, just be faithful in whatever God led us to do. On a sadder note, um, we just ask that you could be in prayer for Marissa Witten and her family as Marissa's dad suddenly passed away this past week so they could really appreciate your prayers. Mm. Mm. Well, that's all for our announcements this week. So kids, guess what? It's time for you to leave for Treehouse. Bye. Bye.